and welcome to Money Minutes. My name is Lisa Pallavi Barbara. So, uh, equity markets have been touching uh, lifetime highs for the last month, and uh, today as well, we've seen a new lifetime closing high. Uh, with this, has come a renewed interest from retail investors in uh, equity investing. Now, investing is not just about returns; it's also about risks. Uh, Kaisa Dadajania has illustrated some of these risks related to equity mutual funds, and he'll give us details on how you can tackle them. Hi, Kaisa. Uh, so, uh, obviously, any investment has risks attached, and the equity mutual funds are no different. So, can you just enumerate some of those risks that investors are likely to face? Well, uh, first and foremost, there is this risk of uh, tendency of people investing everything in just one fund house because when the, uh, similar fund, a single fund house has, let's say, many well-performing, good-performing schemes across its most important categories, there is a tendency to invest everything in that same fund house. So that is one risk that I think people should avoid. The second is obviously to look out for funds that are not really true to label. Mm -hmm. Now, this is basically pronounced in thematic funds like infrastructure funds. So you know you. You'll find a fund which says that I'm an infrastructure fund, but I will also invest in, let's say, private sector banks, which have got nothing to do with infrastructure sector. Or you will find, um, uh, you know, Infosys or some IT company in an infrastructure sector. So uh, yes, they have a certain leeway to do that, but uh, you need to uh, stick with funds that are true to label, and um, uh, you know, not uh, invest with funds that um, uh, this thing diversify unnecessarily. Also, so these are some of the obvious risks. The also other risks is that uh, you know you uh, you know if you invest with a very small fund house, um, uh, you know there is always a possibility of let's say a fund manager leaving and the fund getting deserted. So of course you can't do much about it, and there are uh, you know ways to tackle with it. Like you stay with a fund house which is serious in its um, uh, you know profession, so that there is a succession plan in place and all that. So yes, these are some of the common risks. Some risks you can. Uh, avoid well within your control, so there are some risks that you might find a little beyond your control. Right. So you said that uh, for a small fund house, uh, a fund manager leaving is a big risk, but what about large fund houses? Is that not the case? See, the case is also with the large fund houses, but typically what we have realized in the small fund houses, because of their size, scale and structure, um, you know, they are not able to uh, really pay very, very high salaries to fund managers. And the moment a fund manager assumes a very good track record in a small fund house, the bigger fund house can always poach upon that particular fund manager because the big fund house can pay good salaries. So the danger is always there with small fund houses. Obviously, because being that they are small, you know, they don't have a very wide team with them. So the single fund manager can, uh, you know, will be managing, let's say, more than 90%, 100% of the assets of that particular fund house. You'll find that in Mire, you'll find that in Pine Bridge, uh, Quantum, you'll find that in PPFS and all that sort of thing. So yes, the dangers are there in large fund houses, but it's they're more pronounced. It's more pronounced with uh, small size fund houses. Okay, lastly, just uh, give us, uh, uh, you know, for the risks, like you said, some can be controlled by the investor and some not. So for the risks that can't be controlled by investors, what can they do? You need to speak to your financial planner. It's better you speak to your financial planner, take advice from your distributor. Mm -hmm. And, uh, you know, basically what you can do is ask as many questions as possible and uh, see if uh, you're getting convinced with the answers. So that's what you can do. Okay, great. Thanks a lot, Kaisa. So that's it. Uh, equity funds do come with unique risks of their own and you need to be aware of those before you plunge in. That's all from this edition of Money Minutes. Do keep watching for more investment ideas and updates. Thank you.